feels like home. It feels like I can rest here. And um, for the most part, everyone just treats me like they always used to. Quiet with a quirky sense of humor. That may not seem to be the formula for primetime TV success, but it's working for Vancouver's Grace Park. She's perhaps best known for her roles in Battlestar Galactica and Hawaii Five-0. I recently sat down with her to chat about celebrity, shyness, and her start at the CBC. We hit them before they hit us. Hard. Millions of TV viewers in the United States know her as Kono, the homegrown officer with Hawaii Five-0. I never liked playing defense. I love you, Chief. To sci-fi fans, she was Boomer. Software doesn't have feelings. A cyborg on the highly acclaimed Vancouver shot Battlestar Galactica. Well, whatever I am, I know how I felt. I'm curious to hear what it's like to be a star of an American TV show. Oh, dear. And, Grace uh, Park's star like, keeps growing. Grace Park, everybody, Grace Park! But her feelings about fame remain lukewarm. It's really not what it's cut out to be, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think it depends on what you want. Uh, for me, I don't like being, like, I don't like the fame kind of aspect of it. It's very strange that I'm an actor, even, because somehow I feel like I, I don't know if it's maybe, maybe better in Canada, because you can walk around and a lot, often people don't necessarily come up to you that much to kind of give you your space. They were talking about having my character and Scott. But that space is getting squeezed in ways that seem to surprise even her. Like this video posted on YouTube, a park on a plane. Did you see somebody took a video of you on a WestJet flight or someone Did who looks really? like you on a, you don't know about this? No. Going to use the bathroom in the plane, which to me seems weird. Really? Yeah. You sure? Did you see it? No, well, it I, like yeah, it, well, it, it looked like you, but it wasn't a, a close up, so maybe it wasn't you. Uh, but Funny. but just the idea that somebody would take that picture that and is post weird. it is uh, it, kind of the, you know. So it's, how many, like, uh, how many times was it viewed? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so strange yeah. and if you now that we say this I'm sure people are gonna go look it up but um, so you didn't know about that no I, I rarely Google myself <laughs> and why is that because um, I just got really bored of it after doing it every day for a year <laughs> new came up really no born in Los Angeles Grace Park grew up in Vancouver lucky she says to be living in Hollywood North which drew her into a life she never imagined when she graduated from McGee secondary school I was really not the typical kind of kid that would you would think is going to go towards um, being in film and television. I actually went to my uh, grad reunion recently, and they thought I did it for one guy. Thought I did it for fame, and I've been in school with him since grade two. And I was like, dude, really? Like, do you remember me? Like, I was I was very introverted. I'm still introverted, and um, and I think uh, for me, being from Vancouver, the way it helped was because there is an industry here, but it's not so crazy where it's like Los Angeles, where you have you know, 60 people exactly like you out for like two lines type of thing. If that was the climate, there's no way I'd be where I, I am today. And the first time I was gonna go to Los Angeles, I didn't have a demo reel, and I, and I was worried, and he's like, you have more on your resume than like 90% of the people down there. Not meaning it's good, mm -hmm. it's just because there's more opportunity with the, you know, it's a smaller pond. You know, but at the same time, they're U.S. productions. Our house in Pycon. Stop this. That would be Battlestar Galactica. I'm sorry, Galen. I thought you'd be okay with silent projection. Stop where you are. She also starred in the CBC thriller The Border. Got the wrong. Shut up. Get down on the ground. But long before then, Park's acting career was launched on another CBC show, a teen soap called Edgemont. I don't even know if I like him that way. I hope no one's in here. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, this was it. Her character spent a lot of quality time hanging out in this washroom. What did you say to him? Which happens to be in our CBC Vancouver building. You know what, Jen? You don't know me at all. I guess because it's like a teenage show, we would just sit around and and like these stalls are very tiny so it makes for a bit of a challenge when you're trying to film what's it like being back here after all those years oh the memories no i mean not really <laughs> <laughs> um if you didn't tell me that i don't think i would have i don't think i would have caught on if someone said this is the bathroom i would probably just be here like 
kind of looking around, but not think anything about it. So you're highly recommending that people go to Netflix and watch the old Edgemont episodes? Am I supposed to say yes? No, <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I would say no. She was trying to set me up behind my back. Edgemont wasn't just her first series, but her first taste of the surprising reach of celebrity, which she discovered traveling in France. And this girl kept staring at me on the bus to the point that I was feeling hostile, like I was going to fight her. <laughs> <laughs> and she was, and just before I said anything in her French accent, which, you know, I'm terrible, but she's like, oh, are you from Edgemont? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did not, like, clock her or anything, which I wouldn't have really. Hi, I'm Grace Park from Battlestar Galactica, and you're watching me in the Maxim Lounge. Park is full of entertaining contradictions. A one-time model who's uncomfortable with the spotlight. Someone who gets angry when she's stared at, yet... Do you ever do this when you're driving and it's like a red light and you just like look at the person beside you? Only for a second and then I, right? I, I look away very quickly. Okay, do you ever do, you know, that little phrase like do something that scares you every day? It's like the scary thing would be to stare at them until they look over at you and they keep staring for a few more seconds. And you've done this? Because yeah. how cool would that be to be at an intersection and have Grace Park staring at you? <laughs> You know, in a menacing way, Slightly but still, creepy. yeah. That's not cool I don't think whatsoever. I think that would kind of be You're bizarre. interesting. I like I'm you. bizarre. Yes, I like you more. I think that that would be. I think you might make somebody's day if you did that. <laughs> They'd be scrambling for their phone to get a shot of that. It would be maybe very interesting. Maybe their gun. So not here, right? Or maybe they're gonna, you know, take me going to the bathroom. Well, that that they might do. That's the worst thing that'll happen to you here is that somebody <laughs> will pull out their smartphone. Well, thank you very much. It's a real Thanks pleasure so much, talking Jane. to you. It was great. Thank you. Grace Park graduated with a psychology degree from UBC. She only planned to try acting for a year, but almost immediately she landed that part on Edgemont, and so that year turned into a career. You can see more of my conversation with her next week on CBC News Now from Vancouver.